Hey everybody, I'm here today at, uh, at Rose Hills uh, Memorial Park in uh, Whittier, California. And I'm standing here taking a break. It's a very, very hot summer day and it's a beautiful tree here. And uh, I'm here to visit Jack Larson who played uh, Jimmy Olsen. And uh, on the original uh, Superman TV uh, show, it, it, lately I've seen everybody go to um, visit uh, Superman's gravesite, and I haven't seen anybody come to visit uh, uh, Jimmy Olsen's, uh, Jack Larson, and uh, so I wanted to uh, uh, be the first, or if not the first, at least I, I wanted to come and visit. Uh, so I don't think this has ever happened to me before, but as you can see, my car was parked right there. Um, I just uh, walked across the street and uh, Jack's grave was right there. It took me all of about uh, two minutes to find his grave. This is uh, the, the cars you see there in the distance. That's the street that you come in on. It's the main gate and uh, there's my car there. Uh, so I came up through the main gate to the third section on the right. It's called the Garden of Peace and uh, I parked uh, right above the, uh, the section. And you can see it's a pretty small section, so I thought, well, it'll probably take me an hour or two, because it usually does. And uh, wherever, whatever your, a grave you're looking for, it usually seems to be the last one you find. It's just sort of Murphy's Law, I guess. But in this case, I really lucked out today and walked right across the street and uh, went to the uh, grave marker uh, for 148. Um, I think that's the uh, the section or the plot. I, I, you know, it's very confusing how uh, the cemeteries uh, uh, mark their graves, but uh, I was looking for 148 and I was standing there and I saw uh, Jack Larson's grave right there by the street. So it was very easy to find, which was was nice. In this heat, it saved me uh, an hour or two of, uh, of sweating to find, so it was a pleasant surprise. And you can see he was born in 1928 and he lived to be 87 years old. And uh, I just learned that uh, I mean, I, I know he came out uh, of the closet sometime, I think it was in the 80s or 90s, probably the 90s, and, um, uh, but I didn't realize he had been with his uh, longtime companion or partner since 1958, and before that, he was uh, the companion of Montgomery Cliff you know, another gay icon. So those are things I didn't realize, or maybe I've forgotten over the years. And um, so his partner, James Bridges, uh, was a film director and screenwriter and producer who was involved in some of the biggest movies of the, uh, the last uh, 50 years or so. Um, just, uh, you know, The Paper Chase uh, was very popular, The China Syndrome, uh, Bright Lights, Big City, and uh, quite a few others. So, uh, so I just didn't realize um, um, that that was his partner. And uh, they were partners until he died uh, back, I think it was 1993. And um, so, uh, you know, back when I was watching The Adventures of Superman on TV, and they were reruns by then because they were, it was filmed in the uh, early 1950s. In fact, I think it started filming before I was born. And um, so um, I was watching it probably in the, uh, the early 60s. And uh, by then, the, it had been canceled. I think it, it, it was canceled in 1958. And um, so, um, you know, I just didn't realize that uh, uh, being born in 1928, uh, uh, Jack was actually older than my mother, who was built, uh, born in 1935. So it's kind of funny, uh, growing up, looking back now, with a different perspective, realizing that most of the TV shows that I was watching in the uh, the 1960s were reruns, and most of those people, or half of the people, were uh, were already dead. So, you know, kind of a strange strange thing when you look back uh, from a different uh, era and a different perspective. So if you're like me and you're a fan of Jimmy Olsen and the Adventures of Superman, please give this uh, video a thumbs up and share it with a friend, and definitely leave a comment, and I will see you next time.